Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the remaining of the month in regards to love and romance. How are you doing Sagittarius? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Not sure if you guys are feeling definitely the change in energy. There's definitely a shift in energy that is happening. I will be doing a reading specifically on that. So anyways, let's get into your reading. All right, Sagittarius. We're starting off here with the Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the High Priestess. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. So I definitely see you open. Um, there could have been a situation where you opened up or felt a very deep and strong connection. You could be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with someone that is extremely of the spiritual side or someone that is their intuition is very much on point. Um, now, I do feel that for a lot of you guys, you could have blocked yourself from this connection and it has a lot to do with ego. I'm hearing that this person is either challenging you or this person is really testing. Um, there's almost like a shedding that they're showing me. There's a shedding that needs to happen with you, Sagittarius, where you need to release yourself or detach yourself from ego, from pride. Um, for others of you, this could be just having the need to elevate yourself on a, on a conscious level. This could be uh, becoming more self-aware, becoming more spiritually inclined, or embracing your spiritual side. Um, it's almost like you put a lot of effort or a lot of energy uh, in the importance of the, of the material sense. Uh, so the material could represent anything that is mundane. Uh, it could be that popularity is important to you. It could be that um, your reputation is something that you take seriously. Uh, for others of you, it could be how other people view you. Um, that has a, a very great importance to you, regardless if you um, accept that or deny it. When you get to the root of it, it has a lot to do with how other people perceive you. And I feel that for some of you guys, uh, being open or vulnerable is almost like a sign of weakness. At least that's how you interpret this. So what they're telling you is that this person is or can be potentially challenging you in that aspect. What is it that you're scared of shedding? What is it that you're scared of releasing, Sagittarius? Um, because I definitely do see an openness here. I do feel the connection that you feel towards this person. But with the Six of Wands, it could also represent dealing with a person that uh, they themselves have a following or they themselves are known or they have a lot of suitors, a lot of people that are interested in them. Where with the Nine of Wands, you kind of felt like uh, this was going to be a challenge for you or it speaks more to do with insecurities. So initially what they're saying here is that there is a very strong connection uh, with the person that you're dealing with. However, I feel that this person challenges you in ways that you've never been challenged before. And the reason for this is because this person has came into your life at a very pivotal moment. This is an important step that you must do, whether it's with this person or whether it's you doing this down the road, down the line, there is, however, a need to shed or to let go of certain past behaviors or past beliefs with the high priestess here, um, all to do with, again, like I said, intuition. It's all to do with knowing something deep within you that there is a connection, that you feel some type of chemistry that you cannot explain. Um, and again, this person is really challenging you. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with someone um, where you've been in a long-term or a committed relationship, I don't feel I don't feel necessarily that this is to do with that individual. Um, only because the Nine of Wands and the Six of Wands is here. And I feel that it has a lot to do with something new where you were ready to give up on something from the past. So you may be dealing with a situation where you're coming out of a relationship. For others of you, you came out of a relationship a while ago and you hadn't felt a deep 
or strong connection the way you're experiencing right now. Now, the cards that are following the person of your interest is the Three of Swords, the Prince of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Cups. So we have King and Queen here of the same suit. So there is most definitely a connection that is being felt on both sides. The Three of Swords does indicate that this person does feel hurt or feels betrayed or feels like there was some type of line or boundary that was crossed. They were coming to you initially, uh, genuinely, uh, with the Knight of Cups here. They were open to this connection. Uh, however, when that line or when they felt like uh, there was a lot of things that you needed to work on or that you yourself were challenging them, there was fear that took over with the Eight of Cups deciding to walk away from this connection. Uh, Nine of Swords does speak about a lot of anxiousness, a lot of stress. I feel that you triggered them. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be you, that they were the ones that triggered you, or vice versa. It is a general reading. However, um, what they're telling me here is this person created a lot of obstacles, uh, or they kind of convinced themselves that you were toxic in some shape, way, or form, and they decided to completely walk away from this connection. However, the King of Cups only solidifies what your cards were speaking about. There is definitely a connection there, and they themselves have difficulty shaking you off. I feel that both of you guys have a lot of things that you need to work on on separate sides before you're able to come together, um, and pride is very, very heavy here. So it could be like, that this person is really triggering you um, or that you trigger them. Um, but it has a lot to do with you kind of question or they make you question your beliefs. They make you question, you know, who you are or who you want to be. Because I feel that there is a shedding of the old you Sagittarius coming into uh, who you're meant to be. And every time I hear that, it usually indicates like we're kind of fighting to keep being who we were in the past. So it's almost like you maybe even questioning like, um, let me just pretend I never met this person and go back to what I was doing before that. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen because the connection has already been made. So again, I feel that for a lot of you guys, there is an ascension that's happening here where inevitably you're going to work through your shadow side to be able to step into the light and to be able to step into your higher uh, or better version of yourself. So um, I hope this gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.